You who love the Lord hate evil. He protects the lives of his faithful followers. He delivers them from the power of the wicked. Psalm 97 verse 10 You have good reason to hate evil. For any consider what harm it has already caused you. What a world of mischief sin has already brought into your heart. Sin blinded you so that you could not see the beauty of the Saviour. It made you deaf so that you could not hear the Redeemer's tender invitations. Sin turned your feet into the path of death poured poison into the very fonts of your being, it tainted your heart and made it deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Oh, what a creature you were when evil had done its utmost with you, before divine grace stepped in and saved you. You were an heir of wrath just like the others. You ran with the multitude to do evil. Such we all once were. But Paul reminds us, But you are washed, but you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. We have indeed good reason to hate evil when we look back and trace its deadly workings. Such mischief evil did to us that our souls would surely have been lost had not omnipotent love interfered to redeem us. But even now it is still an active enemy, ever watching us to do us harm and to drag us to perdition. Therefore hate evil, O Christian brothers and sisters, unless you desire trouble. If you wish to spread thorns in your path and plant nettles in your death below, then neglect this hating of evil. But if you wish to live a happy life and to die a peaceful death, you must walk in the ways of holiness, hating evil even to the very end. If you truly love your Saviour and would honour him, then hate evil. We know of no cure for the love of evil in a Christian like abundant intercourse with the Lord Jesus. Dwell much with him, and it is impossible for you to be at peace with sin. O Lord, order my footsteps by your word. Make my heart sincere. Let ha sin have no dominion, Lord, but keep my conscience clear. Amen.